Hello there! You join me, as usual, on the Great British Coast in the Great British Summer, and we'll be looking at all of the traditions and stories that have shaped this septed isle. This is Going Coastal. episode I'll be exploring lost coastal traditions, Wendy Wallace goes foraging, it's fucking cold, isn't it? and I'll be speaking to an artist whose art captures the raw majesty and naked beauty of the sea and its creatures. Today I'm looking at traditional ways that sailors would have looked after themselves on the sea. And of course when you're out on sea for months on end, You'll grow quite a magnificent beard. Most seamen, you'll notice, have very hairy faces. But they needed some way, particularly when they came ashore, to visit the local brothels, that they'd scrub up quite well. And that's where razor shells get the name. You can take a shell like this and use it to, to scrape away uh, excess body hair. And today people are still clinging to these traditions. My grandfather was actually in the Merchant Navy and he used to tell me stories when I was a wee boy about his time out on the sea. And he was the one that first introduced me to the razor shell as an actual razor. I was only 12 years old when my grandfather grabbed me by the chin and scraped one of these shells along my face. I'd only just started puberty. Once the blood dried, he slapped me about the face and said, you're a man now, son. And then he told me about all of the different times as a man of the Merchant Navy, he'd visited prostitutes the world over. However, these shells aren't just popular with sailors. So the local fishermen decided that they needed to set up a series of scarecrows and these would frighten away the seagulls. Unfortunately the seagulls mistook them for actual people and have been here looking for chips the whole time. Of course Seagulls aren't the only ones scouring Britain's beaches for tasty treats and treasures. Our own Wendy Wallace has been rummaging around the coast like a handsy sailor looking for a tart's knuckles. You joined me this week as we forage around for various items that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find on the coast. So if we head down here, all you need to do is upturn Rocks. And look, I've already found a little ship. It's fucking amazing. Look at that wee cunt. A lot of people when they like to forage are looking for food. I tend to border more towards interesting objects, so, uh, and some of which you can eat. I mean, you could give this a go. I mean, I, I wouldn't, but 
but um, you never know. Today I'm specifically looking for some fucking mussels, but as you can see, these we can't you know, so let's have a look down here. Um, looks like we got uh, a shell. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit shit though, isn't it? I mean, it's got a hole in it, so I fucked that off. Uh, oh, there's a bigger one there. Right, so we got under here. Fuck all. If you're lucky, you won't just find bricks and you'll find some other things. Looks like we've got some pottery or something down here. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. That looks like the side of a sink or something. I mean, some little shell fucker has gone in there and made it its home, but uh, I, I mean, you could... Uh, uh, we call this sort of green uh, over the rock. We call it Wogan's toupee. So if you have, have a close look at that, you can see that it resembles the crown. Um, you can eat that. You can eat all of this shite if you really want to. I mean, uh, boil it up, stick it on top of a salad, you know, whatever you want to do really. It's your fucking life. Do what you want. is actually discarded wet wipes. People say they don't want them, but I want them. I want them as many as I can. That's it for this week on uh, foraging the coast, but next week we'll be looking for some more interesting shite you can find on the side of the coast, like a great bit. I'll see you there. We're going to go use the ship. For centuries, our coastal waters have inspired some of our greatest artists. Alan Allen is one such artist, and he uses the sea and the sand not only as his inspiration, but his canvas. Tell me about what you're drawing today. Uh, well, today I, I, I'm, I'm obviously I'm drawing. Um, it's part of my current sort of range of, of sea life. I like to bring the sea from the ocean and bring it here. To the, to the seaside so where the people that aren't living in the sea can see it. And I'd like to add a, what I see is that I like to add a certain femininity to it. And that's why I add, I add usually two large bosoms here. I add, I add, I add breasts. I mean, it's art, it's open to interpretation, but I will, I'm, I'm happy to, to say that they are, they are to, to uh, evoke a sense of, of womanly uh, shape. I, yes. Uh, it, it was the nipples that gave it away. Yes, yes, and I, I, I do. I like to. I like. I like a wide range of nipples. That's obviously where the most detail goes yeah. in my work. That's the most detail in there. But I, I always think that you know. I, I often looked at fish. Uh, I had two goldfish uh, when I was younger, Pinky and Perky, and I would, I'd say, good grief. They they're missing something. They're missing something. And I thought I would give them just a set of breasts. If I could give them, if I could be a god for a moment, and in a way, an artist is, in many ways, a sort of god, a bringer of life and an image. I wish I could just click my fingers and, and, and give them a pair of breasts. You can have a bosom, but you could also have a small, a small, I suppose, a, a little sort of tossle, a little, a little penis, a little willy. I'll leave you to it. I'm very excited to see what you do next. Yes. Um, have a pleasant day. Hey, I'll see you. Love Goodbye. Me. Goodbye. Well, that's all from Going Coastal this week. We'll see you soon for more adventures on the Great British Coast. Next week on Going Coastal, I'll be looking for salty seamen. Wendy Wallace will be looking for buried treasure. Got some little kitty cunts. Go cut or something. And I'll be speaking to a modern day pirate. <laughs>